looks like I'm white. And we'll try uh, two four fours today. Okay, so he's going to Sandra inside. So with this, we just our only options really is to approach the corners. He's probably gonna pincer. Yep, and we're just gonna take the corner. So Sandra and Say is kind of a scary opening because the opening or the moyo it gets is really big, but if you just invade it right and take points, it shouldn't be that scary. And also I prefer to play more complicated Joseki in these. Because if you just play the simple where you descend here, um, I feel like black gets a little bit stronger, but it makes the game a little boring. Um, but here, he's supposed to play here. I capture, he Atari's capture, and then defends his cutting points. But this corner is too small. Because it is just a ko. Um, so if I go here, I go here, he throws in. I go here, 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 I take first. But there's no ko threats in the opening. So I think I'm going to uh, play here to attack these stones. Or I guess he can also attach here, where you go here, here. You throw in and then take. But again, shouldn't matter too much. Because he was going for the influence here. So if he just gets a small corner, then it's not that big of a deal. And I'll just run out. So he tries to attack me, but I'm just going to defend my corner. If I try to run out here, he can just connect under. If he does this one, then yeah, later I can still connect under, but right now it's too small. I'm just going to do this one to protect my group. It's also reducing his side. And now he kind of has to start a co or connect under. So I'll push here and then I can turn. So I could approach his corner. He goes here, I have to run out. So I think I'm just going to keep defending this group. If he plays over here, I can still invade. And if he plays on this side, then I just approach over here. Okay, so he defends this group, which, yeah, I could play here. Um, maybe he doesn't see the co. Maybe he just assumed I would block here. Um, but, yeah, since this is now into the uh, center, has some eye shape, I pressed him down really well. Now I'm going to approach this side. See if he uh, pincers again. Okay. So he didn't like this result for him, so he tried to change it up. And I'm just going to uh, play here because developing the top side is pretty big. And depending on what he plays here, there is still some Aji over here. And I would see this as a, uh, okay, interesting. I think I'll just take the corner then. Um, I see this as a uh, success for white because black played Sonor and Say, wanted a huge Moyo. And pretty much he was limited to the, uh, the 10 points over here and this over here, which is not that big. And I could play a move here. I think I like this one because, again, it's threatening to invade. It's reducing what should have been a Moyo into just points. And it's defending my weak group. Points-wise, I'm not that far behind because I should get at least 10 points here. Or if he does invade, I should get another 10 points over here. I got some points here and potential on this entire half of the board. And if this is a co. But even if he captures it, I get to move somewhere else. Okay. So I'm just going to, I think, this one. One of these. I mean, I also could probably attach here to reduce this some more. Not sure if that's worth it, though. So it would be a pretty big trade. I would think this would probably be worth as much as this. Okay, so yeah, I'll try that. Even if he does respond, I just uh, can play here, and I'm still reducing him to uh, the small area. In fact, I don't even think I really care about this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to extend. And if he captures, then I get to play here. So yeah, he just got reduced even more. Um, and now I'm going to take back. So he has to find a co-threat somewhere. He does that one. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll respond to that. And Tiger's Mouth to make sure everything stays connected. He comes back. Uh, but now my influence is getting pretty big. Um, hmm. So yeah, I'm just going to take my corner. I could also push up here to make this even bigger, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. Okay, so he invades. Um, I'm just going to play here, getting a base for this group. 
he's trying to do complicated stuff. I think I'm just going to make sure I stay connected. And if he lives here, he lives here. I don't really care too much, I don't think. If he defends here, I'm thinking I could Atari here and then go here. Um, and if he cuts, there's cutting points. Um, if I just go here and he goes Atari and here, it feels like his shape is a little bit better. And if he tries to go under and I capture, then that's also just better for me. Okay. So he has some potential here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take this back since he didn't capture. Okay, so he comes over here. I could just defend my corner like this. He jumps here. Everything's kind of connected. I don't want to let him connect to this, I don't think. I also don't want to get surrounded. Um, but it also doesn't seem that bad for me. Um, he's already kind of connected here. Um, if he plays, if I go here, he goes here. I can just play on the side here. And then there's still some cutting potential. So I think I'll do that. And if he comes back and captures, then yeah, just playing here is pretty good. Still has a lot of weakness here. I'm going to approach here. So again, to me, this just doesn't feel that big. So he does capture back. Um, I'm going to throw in here. So it almost feels like he doesn't know what to do with this because he also is agreeing that it's not big enough. Um, so for me, I feel like it's pretty much a flower code where I'm just going to keep taking it. And then he plays a code threat. Then we play some of the game. Um, but for me, it doesn't seem like it's that important. Like this area seems much more important. So like I'm going to play here. And then if he gives me a Panuki here, that feels really good. If he just extends, OK, I go here. So I'm getting something here. And he has to come back and defend here. So he kind of has this shape in two areas where it doesn't really make any points. And then it's also not really making that much influence. Um, and now that this is kind of settled, I just go back and take the go. So he plays that one. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll fight here. I have plenty to run into. Um, he just takes the corner. That's also fine. Yep, I'll just block here. Because he could have done this anyway. And hmm. I'm not sure if it's worth cutting him off. So I'll just let him connect under. And then he goes there. And now I can uh, live in the corner. And if we check with the uh, score estimator, so the game's pretty close. Okay, um, so I'm just going to haunt it here. Just make sure I'm alive. Mm, so if I go here, he goes here. I capture to Atari, so he doesn't really have time to do anything. So I can Atari here first. And I'll connect. Not sure where to connect, though. I'm thinking here is probably best. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Does the ladder work for him? It seems like the ladder works for him. Okay, so just need to Atari this way and extend. So if he goes here, 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 I can just block. So that's not a big deal. I can still play here, I think. So if one, two, three, he can Atari and capture, but then I capture this. Uh, but if he just blocks over here, then I connect, which that should uh, fix my weaknesses here. And is also reducing this by quite a bit. And he defends his cut, because, yeah, if I do something like this, threatening to connect under, he doesn't quite have two eyes, so he does just defend. Uh, but now he's building a Moyo here. I'm not quite alive here. So I think I'm just going to try and jump here to reduce it. I'm not sure which move is best for me, but we'll just try this one. Okay, so he attaches. Got to try and stay uh, connected here. And play here. 
because um, there is some Aji here if I don't. Stay connected. And he's going to peep everywhere. I'm going to push here because I'm threatening to capture this and also is reducing this area. And I'm a little bit worried about eye shape, so I'm going to go ahead and play here to try and get an eye here. And this peep is quite annoying. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and defend against that. And push here again, because again, I can still haunt it here. Oh, I still can Atari, and so I can connect here now. This group is not quite alive. I could like peep here. And then if he connects, I can peep here. And then I can try and uh, connect my groups. He just simply connects. Interesting. So I guess he was scared of dying here, but this is very big profit. Uh, I'm not sure why this one. Okay, just stay connected. So it feels like he's kind of falling apart here. But for a 4Q, I think he did uh, really well. Okay, um, I think I'll just connect here. Um, yeah. Even if he tries to go here, I connect. He can't go here, so this is all connected. And also connecting here, this is all connected. Makes me a few points. Uh, this doesn't really do anything. I'm not sure why he played that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll just extend here. So now I think we're pretty much in game. So I can play this uh, monkey jump. And then this one is pretty big. Okay, interesting. Um, connecting here. Hmm. Not sure if that's actually worth it. This might be bigger. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I'll just connect. Because you can't cut this off anyway. So when I connect here, I'm just saving this one, which is worth one, two, three. Maybe three points, but when he takes this one, that's one, two, three. He's gaining a point here, so four, five. Like so this is probably bigger. Goes here. I guess that's for end game. I think I'm pretty much alive here, no matter what he plays. Um, but I'll block here anyway. Seems pretty big. And then his follow up here is just this and Hane. And I think with this here, I don't have to actually uh, respond to this one. So it should be Gote for him. This one's also getting pretty big, because when he goes here, I have to connect it as Gote, but it's making this not a point, and this not a point. Okay, let's just make sure I stay connected. Uh, this is a mistake. I believe I go here. If he cuts me off, I just capture. I might lose Gote, but I don't think there's anything really that big. Um, and this is also reducing quite a few points, I think. He goes there. Yep, that's pretty big. But yeah, this one's probably big. This one. He tries that one. Um, but this is the same. I go here. He has to block. And I should get Sente. He plays there first. Interesting. But I already have two eyes here, so I'm not too worried about it getting cut off. Um, so I think I'm just going to capture these. So it definitely feels like he kind of fell apart in the end game. Uh, before that, I think he played pretty well. The game was actually uh, kind of close. But now, uh, yeah, it's saying I'm winning by about 20 or so. Okay, so I think probably the time to play this one. And he just blocks here. I'm not sure why he didn't just play here. It would force me to think about connecting. Um, OP resigned. Okay. But yeah, that was an interesting game. He played very well for a 4Q. And uh, well, I'll see you next time.